We all know that wearing a hot t-shirt on a sunny day is a really bad idea. But how do we know that? How can we test it? Um, this practical was all to do with infrared radiation, which is basically heat given off by objects above absolute zero. Um, there are two parts to it. There's the emission of infrared radiation or giving it off. Now we do this in two ways. One with a Leslie cube, which is a cube with different sides with different surfaces, one black, one white, one metal, etc. Or you can do it with four or more separate containers with different surfaces that all hold water. So first job is to get hot water um, from a kettle and you fill up the cube or the cans with the boiling water. If it's the cans, they have to have the same volume. How do we measure the infrared radiation? There are two ways. The easy way is using a thermometer um, because thermometer measures temperature, which um, can be an indicator of the heat released. Way two is using a radiation detector. Um, usually in a question, they'll give you a diagram to tell you which one to use. So we're going to measure the temperature, make sure we men mention our equipment. So using a thermometer or the radiation using the radiation detector. And it's really, really important um, that in this practical, we are making sure we are mentioning our equipment because there's not loads to mention in this practical. So we're going to use a stopwatch to time um, a period of time, let's say five minutes for how long the uh, practical is going to run for. Then we're going to measure the temperature or the radiation again using the thermometer. Next, then we are going to make sure that we look at our results and compare them. And the surface that has the biggest temperature difference, i.e. the highest becomes the lowest, is going to be the biggest or kind of highest emitter of infrared radiation. Now, you should know out of all the surfaces, the highest emitter we are expecting to be is going to be black, uh, in particular matte black, which means that it is not shiny at all. Sometimes you can see these results plotted on a graph. So they all have the same initial temperature and they're gonna go down at different rates depending on their surface of how their temperature varies over time. And the one that has the uh, kind of steepest curve would be, for example, matte black, the highest emitter, the largest temperature drop. Part two of this practical um, is instead of emitting, it's absorbing radiation. Uh, looks kind of similar. Um, so you'd have, again, four or more different cans with different surfaces, um, but the same volume. Um, and this time you'd fill them with equal volumes instead of boiling water, um, because they're gonna be absorbing radiation, um, it'd just be room temperature or cold water. Next, you're gonna have a heat source. So that could be a lamp, um, it could be anything really, as long as it's an equal distance away from all four cans to make it a fair comparison, um, then it will work. So you turn on the heater at equal distances. Um, and again, you're gonna use a uh, stopwatch and measure well what we're going to measure we're going to measure the temperature using a thermometer okay so this one you wouldn't really find with a radiation detector um, so you're going to record the temperature at the start using a thermometer and then you're going to again time it after five minutes and measure the temperature here now i missed out a slight step here which would be to measure the temperature at the start or ensure it's the same temperature which would be something to put in as well now, again, you look at the surface with the biggest change in temperature. This time it's an increase because it's absorbing radiation. Um, so the biggest temperature increase would be the biggest or the highest or best absorber of infrared radiation. So the one that takes in the most. And again, we should find that's matte black. It should be the best emitter as well as being the best absorber, where shiny light surfaces are the worst in both categories. Let's talk about variables. So it's a good experiment for independent variables. This is what we change. These are the surface or the material or color. The dependent variable is what we measure. So that's going to be temperature or infrared radiation, uh, depending if you're measuring that instead. Control variables, what are we keeping the same? We're making sure it's the same volume of water um, in each can, or we're making sure it's the same initial temperature. Um, you could talk about the uh, detector being the same distance away if you're using a detector as well. Um, and all those things could be asked in exams. Generally speaking, when talking about